Let's talk about how to order rod bearings or an engine kit for a Farmall H tractor. This tractor is particularly confusing because two different size crankshafts were available in Farmall H tractors in early and late models. They were offered with either a 2.248 crankshaft or a 2.298 crankshaft for the rod journal measurement. So let's take a look. We are going to measure here for the rods. If I got 2.248 on my rod journal measurement in four different spots, then I would know that I need a standard rod bearing. If I have 2.246, then I need a 2000s rod bearing for an originally 2.248 crankshaft. If I got a measurement of 2.238, then I would know I need 10 over rod bearings for an originally 2.248 crankshaft. Now there is a 2000s variation allowed so I could get a measurement of 2.236 to 2.238 that would still be allowable for a 10,000s rod bearing on an originally 2.248 crankshaft. That same kind of math will continue on to 20 and 30,000s rod bearings. Now you could also have a crankshaft that had an original measurement of 2.298 and that same math would follow through. If you got 2.296 then you need two bearings for a 2.298 standard crankshaft. It is important when you measure your journal that you measure both this side and this side as they can wear oblong and it's also important that you measure on all four of your journals to get a accurate measurement. If someone before you did an engine rebuild on a budget they could have had just one journal turned down to a different size so you don't want to run into a problem there. On our website we ask two questions for your rod bearings. The first question is what was the original size of your crankshaft and the second question is what size rod bearings you need. So that's why it's important for you to look at the chart to know what your measurement is to determine the rod bearing size that you need and then add that number to get the original crankshaft size that your tractor would have had. Those two measurements will tell us what size rod bearings you need for your tractor. Now let's say you get a different measurement that is between the charts. Like let's say you measure this and you get 2.233 uh, and you're not in a tolerance for 10,000s, 2s, or 20s. Then at that point your crankshaft needs to come out of the tractor. You need to take it to a machine shop and get it turned to an appropriate size for 20,000s, 30,000s, 40,000s rod bearings. You also need to take a separate measurement for your main bearings. Just because you measure that you need 10 over rod bearings does not mean that you also need 10 over main bearings or whatever number you choose to measure. So if you are going to replace your main bearings, you need to do that additional measurement for your mains. If you want to only replace your rod bearings, then you can take that measurement while your crankshaft is still in the tractor. Just drop the oil pan, take a piston out of the top with the head off and then you can measure for your rod bearings. If you want to replace your main bearings as well then you do need to take your crank out of your tractor like I have here to get that main bearing measurement. Then you're doing a complete engine overhaul rather than just an in-frame overhaul. So take those measurements, look at the chart on our website as well as the numbers that are here in the video, match that all up and then you will be able to order the correct size bearings for your tractor.